Hello and welcome to Crime Watch Update. Calls have been coming in thick and fast. We've got some great leads, especially on that terrifying bank job in Bolton when armed robbers open fire on the police. It was absolutely terrifying. You had such a good response. I mean, what, 40 plus calls, yep. 30 plus names? Yeah, and my thanks to every one of them. We've got uh, one name mentioned twice to us. Which is we're excellent. We're very interested in that person already. Uh, we've, had, uh, re we've received information about one of the shotguns, and we've also received some information that actually a woman was involved in one of the robberies. A woman was involved? Yeah. Now, this is Which, new to you, isn't it? new information that, obviously, we're very interested in. And if people want to call in but they're frightened, understandably, you can, you can be sure that you will keep them anonymous. I say again, we do this every day now. They will be protected. They will be anonymised. We want to speak to these people. They know this gang. Please give us a chance. Give us what you've got. Give us a call. OK, David, thanks very much. Thank you. Andrew Batterton, known as Fatter to his friends, was stabbed to death in an attack that... As far as we can see, has no motive at all. It must have had one. For having lost their mum before Christmas, his four children are now orphans. We've been trying to find out who killed their dad. Someone's being stabbed. Yeah. Is he breathing? Yeah, only you all breathe. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? What he must have gone through, what he must have thought, and how frightened he must have been. So distressing, and actually you haven't really had the calls you no. wanted tonight. No, to be honest, we, we didn't expect a lot of calls tonight. We think we're only looking for one or two people. And those are two, or one person, whoever it is, who knows who had a grudge against Andrew. That's right. Somebody That's right. really hated him, That's and probably would have told people about it. Yes, we think they may well have confided in someone. Now, you were saying earlier on, if those people don't come forward, you're going to go and find them and possibly do them as a sort of conspiracy on this. I think the story is, come and see us before we come and see you. If they do come and see you, of course, they're in for a very big reward, apart That's from That's right, it's else. a £30,000 reward. And you're guaranteeing anonymity? We are indeed, yes. So, come on, it's crazy not to do that. Uh, we're also hunting two sexual predators tonight. Um, first one who carried out a spate of attacks in Watford last summer. The extraordinary thing about him is he went around without... Any trousers on? You would have thought that would have been quite easy to identify him. Actually, you've got a long way, Jane. We have indeed. I think he's well and truly been caught with his trousers down. We've had over 35 calls, and we've had eight people given the same name. So, tremendous a result, and it's only a matter of time. Then there was the very frightening couple of attacks in, in Birmingham. One just before Christmas, uh, where a girl had her hands put behind her back at a bus stop, marched and, and, and really seriously attacked. Happened again last night to another one. It did indeed. Again, we've had a really good result. We've had two callers given the same name and officers are working on that as we speak. Right. And actually, I know that those calls, one of them at any rate, has given us something which is, um, well, I won't go into it, but really interesting. Rav, uh, what news on the wanted faces? Yeah, we've got a good steady flow on the faces tonight. Let's start off at the top. Number one here is a Bacteria Pervase, wanted for deception. We've had a good recent sighting of that guy. Uh, number two here is Mark Ross, wanted for making indecent images of children. He too has been recently spotted. And number three over there, Herlan Bilali. He's wanted in connection with a shooting in Park Royal last year. And thanks to some of our eagle-eyed viewers, he too has been very recently sighted. The lines are still open, so if you can help with any of those, you've got to get on the phone and give us a call. Now, remember I went to the Hackney estate where Peter Oduwole, or Peter La Cosa Nostra, as he was known in the garage music scene, was murdered last year. It seems people are just too scared to come forward. Oh, are you OK? Peter called out, Mummy, help me. Mummy, help me. If that was your dad, yeah, or your mum, or your brother, yeah, would you want me to call in if I knew? I've got DCI Scott Wilson from Trident, who's actually running the investigation with me now. How's it gone tonight? Yeah, names have been put forward, which are researching, but we still need more information on this green BMW X5. OK. What can we do to get the people, the viewers, just to call in with the information? As I say, we can protect people's identity. If people want to call me directly in the studio and ask for me, 
then they can do that. Oh, fantastic. And what if people are, are motivated by money? Is there any kind of reward that we can offer them? Yeah, the Metropolitan Police has about £20,000 reward up uh, for information leading to prosecution. Oh, fantastic. If that's, not an ex if that's not a reason to clear your conscience, then I don't know what is. You've got to give us a call with any information you possibly know about that murder. This man carried out a vicious homophobic attack in Westminster, in central London, last summer. So vicious, the police are treating it as attempted murder. A number of names uh, came in for this attacker, which is very encouraging. Other people who think they might have been attacked or approached by the same guy had a very, very strong Scottish accent. We were looking for three witnesses to this particular attack in Westminster. They saw what happened. It was right in front of them. And, in fact, the attacker then came up and spoke to them. We don't know what he said. Maybe he threatened them. Maybe that is why they haven't come forward. But for whatever reason, these three people have not come forward to the police. Please come forward. Give us any information you can. The man who carried out this attack is it's vital that he gets caught. We've had so many cases that have been so strong tonight. This is another one where we're really still struggling. We hope we're still going to get something on this. It's the murder of Beverly Parkhouse. South Wales police fear that without your help, they may never solve it. And that's why they're offering a huge reward, £20,000. Time to get up. Shake a leg as a good girl. Bev, come on, love. Time to get up. Come on, love. Time to get up. Beverly had been asphyxiated. It's a tiny community around Ogmore Vale, and we really need more calls. We've only had three calls from that area. We've had more from elsewhere. There is a killer who is still living there. We've got a suspicion that Bev was having an affair. If you saw her with anybody, if you heard anything, if you've got any suspicions, please do give us a call right now. Rav, uh, what have we got from uh, CCTV? Really good, actually. We'll start off with the witness co-op burglary, and I really think it's a case of three being a magic number tonight. When we showed you that, we've had lots of names given in. Uh, the same one has been given three times. Another name has cropped up twice for that one. We then showed you a Bermondsey rob robbery on a 90-year-old guy. That is absolutely shocking, that was. But again, we have had several names, one of them coming up, three times. And then we showed you a robbery in Annalee on a poor lady who was just simply waiting for a train. We've had three names put up for those guys as well, and they simply need to be caught before they do anything much, much worse. Oh, I certainly do. And you can find all tonight's cases on our website at bbc.co.uk slash crime. And if you've been a victim of crime, the victim support line is 0845 30 30 900. Incidentally, next time on Crime Watch, we've got a Manchester race attack, attack that left a young lad blind in one eye. And that's on Monday, the 5th of March. From the production team and the detectives here, thank you for all your calls. From all of us. Don't have nightmares, do sleep well. Good night. Good night.